Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dry Tips and in this video we are going to talk about <clears throat> how to fix Overwatch 2 which is released very recently on Steam and how you can fix crashing issue, it is freezing and stuttering, crashing at startup, won't launch, stuck overloading screen, low FPS drop, black screen and many more issues including the FPS drop which is happening for many of users right now and how we can fix all these kind of issues. So let me directly get into the steps one by one. The first one what we need to do is when we are having this particular issue all we have to do is we just need to start with a simple restart and that is what we have to do. So for doing a restart if you are on the system just go over here in the start click over here in the start go to this icon go for a simple restart. So the first and foremost step you have to try out is to do a force I mean not force restart you have to do a simple restart. Once the restart is successfully done, you can try launch the game once again. If the force, if the restart is not working, you can try with the next one. That is all about we need to try with verify integrity of game file. So verify integrity of game file is actually fix a lot of issue. So to do this, just go to the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here, go to the installed file. There is an option called verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game. That is 34.21 GB is the space required for this particular game. So this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing which is one of the main reason why we are having crashing and all these kind of things it will be cross checked from their end and that will be fixing you guys out. So right now as you can see it is running so it has to reach to 500 percentage and you will be getting a play button once again. So once this reach 100 percentage you have to click on the play button and we have to try playing the game. So let me let this get progressed in between so we'll move to the next step so it's going to take a bit of time. The next one is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. For launching the game from Steam, if you are launching the game from Steam, it is also one of the reason why we are having the crashing issue. So in order to fix this we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So for this we just need to go over here we have a shortcut from Steam, right click over here and go to the properties. Now go to the installed files over here and click on the browse. So right now if you go back you can see on this particular in the background this particular uh, folder will be opened. So if you check at the top that is this PC, new volume D, steam library, steam apps, common overwatch. So this is the folder and over here if you check this is the overwatch application. So from here we have to launch the game. So try launching the game from the installation folder and it worked for many of the users so you can try this out as well. So after launching the game from the installation folder, if it's still it's not working, we can try two more steps from, from, from the same installation folder. One among them is all about we have to run the game as an administrator. For running the game as an administrator, we have to go over here, select over here, right click and go to show more option and go to properties, go to compatibility and just click on run this program as an administrator. So once you click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok and see whether the issue is solved or not. Still the issue is there and it's not fixed then we just need to try with the next one that is all about we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. For running the game in the compatibility mode we have to go over here in the game right click over here and go to the show more options and go to the properties go to compatibility mode click on run this program in compatibility mode we have to click on this one. Once you click on this one we have to go for apply. So before that either you can set to windows 7 or you can go for windows 8. You can set to windows 7 or windows 8 fine with that. Just set this up and go for apply and go for ok and see whether the issue is solved off or not. Even after trying with this the issue is still there and the issue is not persisting with them then we just need to move to the next step. Next step is all about we just need to make sure we need to turn on time, time zone and region is correct. So just go over here in the search go to settings. Now from here we have to go to time and language first go to date and time make sure the time and time zone automatically should be turned on this is very important you have to turn this on so turn on time zone and time should be turned on and you have to go back go to the language and region now from here make sure that you have to select the respective country from where your geography so if you're from united states select united states if you're from united kingdom select united kingdom if you're from United Arab Emirates, select this one. So you have to select the country according to geography. Once you cross check these things, just close this and go back and try launching the game. So even after trying, still the issue is there and it's not fixing. We have to move to the next step. That is all about. We have to launch the game. Once the verified integrity of game file is completely successful, we'll be getting the 
play button here so when you're launching the play button what you need to do is you just need to press art and tap together from the keyboard i don't know how this is related but this did work it for me personally it worked for the games like remnant and even for the spider-man morales and even for naraka blade point and all those things so right now as you can see this particular one the verify integrity of game file is done like i said all the 91 files are successfully validated so you can try launch the game so let me speak continue what i'm speaking right now so i was talking about uh, playing the game with pressing alt and tap from the keyboard so just click on the play button but simultaneously you have to press alt and tap from the keyboard and it worked for many of the users so we can try this out as well even after trying with this if it's still it's not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to delete the saved game file so go over here in the file explorer and we have to go to this pc now from here we have to go to the documents and right now as you can see we'll be having the folders on these for the games like this for example as you can see there is a folder on overwatch 2 so i have to delete this respective folder but i have to keep in mind when i delete this respective folder i'll be losing all the progressions on the game but that is fine once you delete this respective folder you have to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game from the scratch once again once after trying with this if the issue is still persisting do not worry we can try out few more steps and one among them is all about we need to allow the game to window security for this reason we have to go over here in the search we have to go over here in the we have to go for control panel now from here we have to go to system and security go for windows defender firewall now go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to find or navigate to O because since it is an alphabet overwatch will be in the category of O so right now as you can see the overwatch is completely added overwatch 2 is added and the private and public should be marked so you have to check this so once if this checked that is what we have to do and also we can add it by default so if the game is not there then what we have to do just click on the change set then go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local to see or where the game is installed so in my case it is d so go to steam library go to steam apps go to common so i'm having the folder overwatch so i have to select this one and add it so this is what you have to do i'm getting the error because the game is already added so if the game is not there this is how you can add it once you add the game you have to close this and go back and try launching the game next one is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so you might be connected your system or laptop might be many peripherals right now at a time maybe multiple monitors joystick mouses keyboard etc so all of these cause these issue up so what you need to do is just remove unwanted things from there and launch the game so even if you wanted to play the game with the controller after game is successfully launched just connect back the controller and try continue playing the game and this worked for many of the users so we can try this out as well next one is all about we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search and we have to search for system configuration search for system configuration now from here we'll be getting this option to go to the services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services and go for apply and go for okay that's gonna ask you for restart so those who are watching this we have to go for restart but i'm gonna go for exit without restart because uh, i'm here in the middle of shooting so i'm gonna go for exit without restart but those who are watching this those every users who are watching this go for restart once the restart is done try launching the game next one is all about we what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay so go to the game right click over here and go to the properties now from here as you can see this is called enable the steam overlay while in game so if it is turned on we have to turn this off it is very important i don't know how but this worked for many of the users if this is turned on we have to turn this off and try launching the game next one is all about we have to go for launch option so launch option we have few commands the first one is dx11 so you can try with the dx11 and try launch the game so dx11 will be working fine in my knowledge in most cases so if dx11 is not working try with dx12 because dx11 or dx12 any one of the things will be working fine in most cases and once you set this up you can try launch the game as well once after that the issue is still persisting then we just need to move to the next step next step is all about what we need to need we need to close the overlay application if anything is there so just go over here in the start right click over here and go to the task manager right now as you can see there are many apps running in the background there are around 56 apps running in the background so when you're launching the game like overwatch what happens is at the same simultaneously these apps are also running in the background which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue so from here you have to find the unwanted things for example discord riva tuner msa afterburner etc all these comes under one of the main reason why we are having crashing issue which comes under the category of overlay and overclocking application 
So if you find this, you have to delete it. And once you delete it, you just need to close this as well. And you have to go back and you have to try logic the game. Next one is all about, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search. We have to search for graphics settings over here. Go for graphics settings. Now from here in the graphics settings, you have to add the game like this. So how to add, just go to the browse. Now from here, we have to go to this PC, navigate to the folder where the game is installed. And in my case, it is D. So just go to D, go to Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to common, select Overwatch. And I have to select this particular folder and add it. So right now, as you can see, the game is already added. So once the game is successfully added, what I have to do is once the game is successfully added, uh, what I need to do is I just need to already add. So I'm getting a message that it's already added. So once it is already added, what which is just to do, uh, what we need to do is we just need to go over here and we have to click on the option. So you have to find the game. Okay. So here the game, the application is here. So I got a message. It's already added. So that's why I got confused. So once you find the particular uh, the added one just go over here select options this would be let windows decide by default so you have to change this to high performance because this has to run using the nvidia geforce rtx so set this to high performance and go for save close this and try launch the game and it will be working fine for you guys as well even after trying with this the issue is still persisting then we can try with the next one which is called increasing the virtual ram so just go over here in the search we have to search for view advanced system settings so uh, just go to this one, go to the advanced, go to settings, go to advanced once again, go for change. And over here you have to select and uh, you have to deselect this. I mean, you have to undo this. So if it is selected, you have to undo this because if you select, you will not be able to select the local disk. So undo this. And once after that, you have to select the local disk where the game is installed. So in my case, it is D. So I have to select D. Now go for the custom size. So if the game is installed in C, you can select C. But in my case, it is D where the game is installed. So I have to select D. Now I have to give the value for initial size and maximum size. So we need to do a calculation. So I need a calculator. So I'm going to go for a calculator. So the RAM of my computer, which I'm using right now is 32 GB. So you just need to type your RAM, multiply with a constant value that is 1024. That brings you this particular value. And you have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 14 and 152. So just paste it. Next one is maximum size. The maximum size is you have to type 32 GB is the RAM. So just type your RAM and multiply with a constant value. This one and multiply it with 3. That brings you 98304. So just copy this and paste it as well. So once you set the value, everything is fine. You have to close this and you have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about we need to update the windows. Just go over here in the search go for settings over here and we have to go to uh, windows update over here and make sure the windows is up to date so we already have to update the windows and windows is up to date you just need to close this and we just need to try to play the game as well next one is after trying with all these things if the issue is still persisting you can try with installing the uh, graphics card you can update in the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the uh, AMD so NVIDIA users have to go over here select every details like your product product series product operating system etc so select everything so I'll go for Windows 11 you have to select every details over here and once you select every details over here so you have to select every single details and once you select this go for start search and once you go for start search what happens is you will be getting the outdated released latest versions of drivers for example 536.99 which is released on August 8, 2023 is the latest version one which is released. So download this, install, restart is a mandatory on a PC and try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select the details on the graphics, select every details and go for submit. So once you submit, you will be getting these options like you can select which one you need. So once you get this particular page, if you're on Windows 11 with 64 bit edition, download this one. If you're on Windows 10 with 64 bit edition, download this one as well. And once you download this, install a restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. You can also try with installing the Microsoft Visual C++ because it worked for many users. So you can try this out. So just go over here and download x64 based version. So just download this one, install and restart. If you're on x86, you can download this one. Restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Last and the least one is all about, you have to go back and the last and the least one is all about, we have to uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the manage and install the game. For reinstalling the game, you have to install it back. But keep in mind, you should not be installing it back on the same local list from which you uninstalled. So I have uninstalled the game from D and reinstalling it back on D is not going to work. You have to try changing position to C or E and that is going to work for you as well. 
So these are the possible workaround which can be done when you are having an issue with Overwatch 2. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.